Yeah. Mm. I'm back to share three more tips for beginner runners. The first tip I want to talk about today is breathing. You need to choose a breathing pattern when you're running so that you can make it from beginning to end of your run. The breathing pattern that I kind of came up with for myself is breathing in once through my nose and out twice through my mouth. It works really well for me and this is kind of what it's like. And what I do is I choose music that kind of goes to that pattern so the two pair well together, my breathing and the music. And that helps me to get through my runs. So choose a breathing pattern that feels comfortable for you and use it consistently all through your run. The second tip I have for you is about speed versus completion. I think I've talked about this before, but it's really important to choose a either time period goal that you're going to run, like I'm gonna run for 10 minutes, or a length goal, I'm gonna run for a mile, versus trying to go a certain speed. So when I started out running, I just decided that I was going to do the Couch to 5K program, and it told me how long I was going to walk and how long I was going to run. And I just followed that consistently. And what I noticed is that over time, I got speedier, I got faster, just because I was getting more conditioned. So don't worry about trying to run particularly fast. Just make sure that you choose a goal, a time or a length goal, and just meet that goal, and eventually you'll start speeding up. My third and final tip is to start adding fartleks into your runs. No, that's not gas. A fartlek is a Swedish word for speed play. And what that means is that, let's say you're running along and you see up ahead that there's a stop sign. What you can do is you can try to run from where you are to the stop sign to kind of increase your heart rate and change things up a bit. I try to add one or two fartleks into all my runs just to kind of um, give me a little bit of a challenge, but it doesn't wear me out so much that I can't make it through the entire run. Anyway, those are my three tips for today. I'll be back with a fourth tips for beginners soon. Thanks for joining me.